So I'm putting the 0 0.778, I've got 1 times 0 0.48 plus the log k. So if I do the rearrange, that gives me, according to the completed part, gives me that value. And if I go back to my equation, my equation of a straight line, I said that the intercept was log k. So log k is my intercept. So if I do 10 to the power of 0 0.29, which works out uh, roughly 2, to 2 sub 3. Same idea, get a better answer, put it down and then round it. So now I've got my two um, constants, I've got k and I've got b underlined in the wrong way around. So I said that originally my equation was k times by b to the power x. So now k is 2.0 and b is 3.0. There you go, I've done it. So I've made a curve into a straight line, found the intercept, found the gradient. In this case, done 10 to the power of for both of them. And I'm, I'm done, job done. Right, let's have a look on the next page now. So there's a question for you, following exactly the same procedure. So please have a go at this, and make sure you get the same value. So remember, that, that 2.096 is actually log of whatever the y value is, 124.8. And that's the log of the y value above, so 424.3. That's how I'll put this in. So it's really, this is pretty tough, so please make sure you have a go and don't just copy the completed bit. Make sure you have a go. And that gives you that equation there. So that's quite nice. I think it's really, really useful this because it's something that we use in industry all the time, where you kind of model data and you want an equation for it. All right, now look at this one. Look where the, the changes are now. Before, the x was on the power. Now it isn't. The x is down on space. So this has got... Um, so it's looking like it's... Is it, well, it's a relation between t and m. I think it's mass and time. So you've got to remember that m's going up and that t's going across. So we know that... T and M, they're the variables. And then K and N are the constants. And that's what we want to find. There. K. Right. So same idea. I've got to do my log laws of both of them. So I've got log of m is log of k t to the n. Split it up. And then bring the n down. There. So originally it was t against m. There's our curve, the T against M. And what I've done now, if you follow what's happened with uh, T, T has become log T, and M has become log M. So now I've got a straight line with log T against log M. And I've got intercepts and a gradient. So let's have a look on this then. So log m is going up, log t is going across. That must mean that m is my gradient. So that's nice. Once you get that value, you don't need to do 10 to the power of it. It's just that value. And then I've got log k is my y intercept. There. So I put it down here. So I've got log m. I've got n, I've got log t, I've got log k. There, there we go. There. Right, next page. 
So we'll log it. T and log out. So that first one, that's going to be log of whatever the T value is, which is log of 5. That one's going to be log of 0.45. That one's going to be log of 15. That one's going to be log of 2.3. So you kind of get the idea. Uh, so that would give us values of 0.699. 1 1.1776, 1.6992, 0.3462, 1.146, and 1.602. There you go. Let me see something here. That's log t on the x, log m on the y. There. Right, so I'm going to pause it. I'm going to draw it on, but then I'm going to work out the gradient as well. Okay? So can you do that? Plot your points, draw a straight line, work out the gradient between the extreme points. Right then. So I've plotted my points, drawn a dodgy straight line, and I've worked out my gradient from the extreme points. Now, going back to the equation, my gradient is just the n value. So that's quite nice. I've actually worked it out. So n is 1.5 is too something. So that's brilliant. I've got well, at least I've got a constant. Don't have to do 10 to the power of that one because it was already the value. Right then, so I've got my equation. So log m is n log t plus log k. So subbing, if I use the first point, so I've got my. Uh, uh, what well, they've used the other point. Ooh, let's go with that. So they've actually used this point over here. We'll use this one. So we've got 1.602 is n, which we said was 1.5, log t, which we said was 2, plus log k. So they get minus 1.398 for log k. So log k is the intercept. I used to do 10 to the power of minus 1.398. That gives me a k value, and that k value is 0 0.040 to 2 sig fig. So I found the other constant now. So I have an equation with two variables and two constants. I make the um, curve into a straight line using log laws. I find the gradient and the intercept, and then that allows me to work out what the constants are. So my m equals k t to the n becomes m equals 0 0.040 times t to the power of um, where is it going? 1.5. There. Phew. It's a one for you on the next page, hopefully. Next consolidation. Are you ready? So there's one for you lot. So please try and follow the maths. So, like I say, this was on further maths, this, because it's pretty tricky to do the log laws uh, and then to kind of get that idea that you change a curve into a straight line and then find the gradient of the intercept. But it is something which is ridiculously useful. So, it's right that it should be on our scheme. There. So I'll uh, do it nice and slow. There you go. Next page should be consolidation questions. Yeah. Right. Well done, everybody. See you all later.